the housing unit for officers of immigration service stationed at Larbanga in the Zabzugo district is currently in a deplorable state, a situation the officers have described as worrying. The officers are living in the middle of the bush near Larbanga. Their duty is to check movement in and out of the place. There is no lies for them, and when darkness falls, their lives are in danger. As according to the officers, they battle with reptiles and scorpions. There is no place of convenience for them as they engage in open defecation. Even washroom for them is lacking as they use Zanamat. The officer in charge has been speaking to City News about their challenges. He spoke off camera. Our staying place is the only tent that we have. No structure, not even a washroom for us, as you can see at the back. Okay. Uh, we've used this local mat to uh, make something round to also cover, cover, I mean, cover our nakedness when uh, we are bathing. Uh, we also don't have a source of water here. We lack water. Normally what we do is uh, we contact the community members who can help us get. In fact, the first time when we started coming here, it was the damp water that they used to fetch for us to bath. And then uh, later, uh, they started uh, to fetch from the bowl. Even the bowl water is, is, is seriously very, very, very bad. Wow. Uh, so, and we can't use that to bath. So we have to rely on pure water, mm -hmm. sachet water, in order to, to do our cooking. Uh, another challenge that we have here, as you can see the weather condition, uh, the only uniforms that we, we wear is, is torn out, is worn out, the, the, the dust I mean, spoils the whole uniform. He appealed to the Zabzugu District Assembly and other benevolent organizations and individuals to come to their aid. The service actually uh, is putting in, uh, in place uh, some allocations of uh, some uh, finances to help us uh, establish this, this place very well. Okay. Uh, as I said, the DC also came around and saw how how inhabitable the place is. And yeah, we are looking forward to having them to to help us in in, in the work we do here. Okay. Because uh, as immigration, in fact, we we cover all security aspects. Sure. And then uh, they not being present, in fact, we have we record a lot of their cases. And then we refer to them. Okay. And then so we being the only security service available here. In fact, we perform almost all the duties for all the security services. Only that uh, we refer to them as okay. and when their cases come in. Okay. Uh, okay. So okay. in fact, when the, if if we get them around to also come to their various stations, uh, sites they are here to help organizations are able to hear us out. We will really appreciate it if they if they come to our aid. Okay. Because uh, officers are really suffering. We come here on a one week base. Wow. From Sunday to Sunday, and it it is not easy at all. I mean, you have officers coming in from Sunday, and when they are returning on Sunday, they fall sick, and then uh, it's difficult when officers fall, fall sick, and then you have to find officers from different levels to come in and up. Meanwhile, the Zabzugo district has constructed accommodation and police station for Kwadli electoral area. The facility has been left to rot in the bush. The assembly say they are yet to send personnel to the facility, which is now covered with weeds. If the facility could for now be given to the immigration service, it will be better rather than be left in its current state.